All right, so the first one is Bam Bam behind the reception desk. Party hat, kind of slide like this. You don't want to sit down. You want to hug the wall or the desk and bump into the hat. Opilla Bird will be over here this way inside the park. Go to the back right corner where the tree is and there should be an egg. I already have all the badges, by the way. Just bump into the egg like so. Sometimes you got to wiggle a little bit. And that's how you get it. Jumbo Josh will be over here all the way to the end of the hallway where you see the orange door. That is where we're going. Then immediately take a left turn, hop on the boxes, drop through the floor. And now we are with Jumbo Josh. That's what happens when you eat all your veggie tables. Ban Bellina is over here. Then go to our left. Go to the left again. Red chair. Click or tap on the red bow tie. Captain Fiddles, Ooga Booga, Booga Ooga, is over here in the blue door. And there are boxes right here. We're going to zoom in and slide in between these boxes like so. And then click. You may not have to. You can probably just do it like this. Zoom out and then click or tap on that tooth. Stinger Flint is right over here down the hallway. And we're going to be going into the purple room or the going through the purple door right here. Look to your right. You see that light? We're going to go ahead, stand on this. And sometimes you're going to have to unsit yourself and go ahead and click on the mini little Stinger Flynn jellyfish, octopus, whatever you want to call it right there. Blue is outside here through the doors. Then take a left turn and by this bush or hedge, there is going to be a blue crown i guess go ahead and click or tap on that and that is how you get blue to get green we're going back outside this way towards the big building right here what we're going to do then is go off to the left and you go get on top of this tree right here the one that's closest to the building you probably get on the other one as well but it's up to you then we're going to head over this way hop on up and then there's an invisible ladder right here at the corner. Climb up it. Head across this way. Uh, be sure not to fall off the edge though. Drop down. And there is green right there. You can also get on top of this tree right here. Zoom out. And then click on him from here. It's up to you. Orange, if you head outside this way. Then outside the protected area. Go to your left. And then follow the rainbow fence this way and what we're looking for is a bag of food that belongs to orange there it is click on that and now you got yourself a bag of scooby snacks all right to get red what we're doing is going back outside this way and heading towards the big brick building go off to the right side it does not matter which side you go on but the right side is faster so you know if you don't want to lock for a long time then go to the right but then head to the back side here. And you guys might remember I pointed out that green is up there. Well, the wall nearby should let you go through it. It's one of these. I can't remember exactly which wall. I think it was the one over here. If I'm correct. Let me see. Yep, it's right here. This one here. Boom. Then you walk inside. And then I believe you have to click or tap. On that red button purple purple is gonna be over here in the timeout corner room the chair room and you're gonna then head over here and you're gonna see the vent right there bro this took me forever but go ahead click or tap on purple in the vent and that is how you get them all right the next one is huggy wuggy that's gonna be outside here then go to the right side and behind these trees, there is going to be a bow tie on a yellow fence post right here. There it is. Go ahead and click on that. And that is how you get Huggy Wuggy. All right, next up is Missy. Kissy Missy. Go outside. And then if you zoom out, you are going to see on the sign Bam Bam's Kindergarten. You see that bow tie? We want to click on that bow tie right there. And there you go. You found Missy. Next up is Boxy Boo. Go outside this way. And then again, look up here at the sign. However, get on the bush here and turn your camera like this. 
Actually, it's probably better on this side. You want to go on this side, turn your camera, and if you can, get on top of this here, and then turn your camera and click on Boxy Boo's box right here. You don't even need to get up on the top part here. Now, if you can, great, but it's probably better if you have some friends here to help you up top. But that is how you get boxy boo all right the first one is bunzo bunny go outside this way and then head over to our left there's going to be i guess you call it a garden we're going to hop onto this tree right here it does not matter you can either go onto this tree or onto that tree get onto this hedge and walk over to the party hat there it is boom click on it you can also do it from down here just zoom out and click there next one is boogie bot and it's gonna be outside as well we're getting our vitamin d and it's gonna be over here inside the garden as well but this time it's gonna be in the very back corner of the garden i don't know what you want to call this i won't call it a garden it sounds nice but right here there's a big tree right over there and what we're going to do is maybe get on top. Nope. No kidding. Uh, click on the boogie bot right there. And that is how you get it. Next one is players. So player is going to be out here in the sunny sunshine. We will go to our left again. But this time we're not going into the garden. We're heading over this way to the end of the road. Yes, I know. Lots of walking. But it's worth it every time and we're gonna get on top of the tunnel here so what i suggest is then do something like so boom 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 and then you turn okay well i don't know what happened there but clearly you want to touch the ladder click on the grab pack there and there you go all right next one is screech and that is gonna be over this way we're actually gonna be going to a location and we're going to be staying there for a while because it just takes a while to get there. So it'll just be easier to show you all at once where the badges are. Unless they add more later down the road. But we're going to go behind here and there will be a ladder that goes to the top of the edge of the map. So here we go. Climb on up this way. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And there is a door for the door morphs. <laughs> so click on that door. And boom. What you're gonna do then is hop over and go into this corner and click on Screech, who looks like a spider. He's not Spider-Man, unfortunately. <laughs> next one is Seek. And that is gonna be over here in the next room. Just walk through, look to your left, and there will be an eyeball. Click on that eyeball, and there you go. Next one is Glitch, and that is gonna be over here through the door. Then go through the window right over here at the end. Now be careful. It's a very small platform. But it is an obby. And what you got to do is step on these glitch platforms like so. Now it's not a super hard obby. But there is one spot in it where it can be difficult. We'll, we'll just say that. And it's going to be really close by right here. It's not that. It's right here. So what's the happening is... You're hitting your head on the top, so get close to the edge and do something like that. Once you get past it, it is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Click on the glitched orb there, and there you go. Next one is figure. Figure is actually right here by the fireplace. Go to the left and click on the book right there. So to get rushed, what we're going to do is head outside this way, okay? Once you've done that, go to your left. And go to this tunnel on the left side of the map. It's very spooky here now. <laughs> but what we're going to do is go in towards the tunnel. We can't actually go into it. But Rush is inside there. And it's probably hard for you to see where he is. But pretty much all you got to do is click in this area or tap. It's actually a pretty big area. So click or tap. Then you should get Rush. El Goblino! So, to get El Goblino, we're going to go back outside and head over to the new area that has been added, the arcade. We're going to be gobbling them arcades. <laughs> gobbling these lights. But, enter the arcade. Once you've done that, 
look to your right. You see that blue pillar right here? Radzigo, go hop on top. And there he is behind it. Click it. And that is all. Oh, look, some FNAF, some Huggy Wuggy. To get ambushed, all we have to do is head this way outside. And it's actually pretty interesting the way they did this. We're going to head over here towards the tunnel where we get Rush. Now, we're actually not going to go into the tunnel, but we're going to go on top of it. We're going to see a lot of badges on our way here. However, you're not going to think what we're about to do. So, go ahead and get on top of the tunnel, like so. Then, we're going to go up the ladder. Oop, there we go. There's that player badge. We're going to get on this rock. Then get onto this tree and hop over the invisible barrier. Yes. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be the official way to get this badge. But right now, this is the way to do it. And all we got to do is head over here to this corner. And what you're going to be looking for is an invisible block. And you're going to click on it. It's literally all of this right here. So it's a pretty big area. Click it. And there you go. All right. So our first one is Halt. He's going to be over this way outside the map. And if you guys remember, we're going to be going to a very familiar place. You know, one of the most popular games on Roblox right now. It's a game called Doors. Yes, we're going to be going to the Doors map. So if you want to, follow along. If you already know how to. To get there, great. However, there is more to this than just simply going into the map, okay? So climb up the ladder, keep going, keep going, keep going, and go through this door. Boom, walk in, then go through this door right here, walk all the way to the end, and we'll go through this door and be greeted by a Holt Obby. Now be careful, do not touch these, I guess, I, I don't know, just don't touch those. <laughs> <laughs> and just avoid them like so and get to the end click on halt like that and you will get the badge sheriff bronze to get this one head outside and we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> talk to the sheriff now what we're gonna do is head over here to the arcade and do not go inside of the arcade this time we're actually going outside on the left side here you're going to see a big dumpster. There's a star here. It's not saying good job. You're stinky. It means that's a badge right there. Also, wait, can you go? Oh, I thought you can go into it. <laughs> that would been so good. Next up is Saffron. I like to call it the snail. So head outside. Go this way. Then go to our left. There's going to be a garden area over here. Go ahead and enter it. Look to your left. And there should be a sign that says dig site what we're gonna do then is head over into it and it's a mini maze if we go get confused in here just simply go left then right then left forward all the way and you should find a little gap here slide on through walk forward and then keep going keep going keep going there is saffron the snail I it's not officially the name <laughs> Cobalt to get this one head outside go this way Then look to your left and you're gonna see the arcade We're gonna go ahead and enter this arcade and do a little sussy stuff <laughs> That sounds so weird. Okay, so go ahead enter the arcade look to your left You see that blue pillar. We're gonna go ahead and go behind it slide through enter this vent and just follow it all the way to this room here don't mind the person on the ground dead just go ahead and click on that party hat and that's how you get cobalt 